Well, I, I think I have a little bit more work to do before I become a great lawyer, but I'm, I'm getting there. Um, but you know, I think it was the influences, right? You know, Southwest Atlanta was unique when we were growing up in that there were so many upwardly mobile black families. And I can remember vividly my grandmother driving me around and saying, hey, doctor so-and-so lives here and you know, attorney, you know, X lives there and you know, this person does this and that person does that. So I think more than the education I received in the SWATs, it was the influence of the folks who came before me and letting me know that, you know, a lot of the things I aspired to be were possible. So I think that was the biggest thing for me, seeing folks that looked like me who were tremendously successful and, uh, and just being around that environment. I think it's changing. Uh, my mother lives uh, near Benjamin E. Mays in Cascade, near the beautiful restaurant. And a lot of her neighbors are moving into, you know, newly refurbished, re revamped houses. And so the, the texture and the character of the community is changing. The demographics are changing. Um, I think for the most part, it's still as I remembered it, but I don't know if that will be true in 20 to 30 years from now. I hope that it can retain a lot of the character that is, that is built over the years and that you know, in 20 years it doesn't look like a totally different place with respect to demographic or even the physical character of the, you know, the homes and some of the things we grew up, um, grew up admiring. So I just hope that it can retain you know, what it has always meant to us which again, a symbol of uh, black upward mobility and that that would still be the place where a lot of middle class, the upper middle class um, black families choose to live, um, raise their kids and grow their families. That's what I would hope.